Well, this is just great. We gotta do another voiceover. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. It's Gamer... It's not Gamer Guy. Crap. I can't get used to it. It's Huge Love Gaming here. Today, we are gonna be playing through the boss fight after we just decide it's a good idea to vandalize a tree. Oh my gosh, this is way too loud. Give me this. Okay, it should be fixed now. But, yeah, we're gonna be doing the boss fight on World 1. Tentacle Outpost. We're gonna be finishing up Tentacle Outpost today. Well, wish me luck. Because I am terrible at. Oh, look, there's a light bulb. Whee! I hit the. Oh, it's a zapfish and a light bulb. Oh, it's like those, uh. Oh, no, can't spoil it. Never mind. I thought we played through that already. I thought this was the second boss fight, which I also finished, but I'm not talking about that either. Taste of. Wait, hold on. Oh, we're toast. Get it? Because it's an oven. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, besides my horrible puns, not much has happened recently. Except for the fact that I'm being attacked by a toaster. And the toaster's gonna explode. And now there's just bread everywhere. That's great. Totally not disgusting. And I didn't screw up. So I'm just like, wow, that's the easiest boss fight. It's because it's the first one. Donut stop. We need to keep going. Okay, Marie, the first bread pun I made, the first bread pun was funny. Any other bread puns after the one I already made aren't funny anymore. Okay, those ones are actually pretty funny. So, I'm, I lied. Ah, yes, churros. No, wait, they're ink. They're just ink pistons, except they just stay there. And they're so much more annoying. The bread are, at least. Oh. Oh, boy. Well, I'm gonna be able to do this now. If I can do it properly, for goodness sakes. There was an easier way out of this. And of course, I chose the hard way. It's whatever. Well, I did it! But then I start loafing around and things might go awry. Okay, same joke twice. Hey, yo, I've been recording for a little bit. Wait, armored bread, but armor on bread? A glazing machine has appeared. Oh, it instantly murders me! That's just wonderful! Splat. Avoid the loaves when the oven doors open. Um, some kind of glazing machine has appeared. And the oven doors open. Ooh, ouch. Get away, get away, get away. Somehow I managed to live longer than I should have. And makes fart noises. Boom, this guy's toast. I made that pun at the beginning. You can't make that same pun. Oh, they're all burnt. They all look so surprised that they're burnt. And they're like, no, I don't want to die. I'm too young. That took me four minutes and 25 seconds to beat. Officially, because I also got a free sardinium. I learned what that's called later in the series, I think, so. Oh no, that took me two minutes and fifty seconds. Good work, Agent 4. I sure know how to pick them. Gotta hand it to the Octarians, but didn't expect them to have fully operational Octobasses at their disposal. I think it's time to call them the big guns. Let's see here. Sheldon, can you hear me? Over. 
I hear you loud and clear. What the heck is that guy over? Oh man, this is so cool. <laughs> Eight four. I'm Sheldon from Ammo Nights. The only weapon shop in the Gotham is closed. Five hundred forty-two million user trusted servers. What the heck? That's a crazy amount of trusted service. That's right. Stop by Animal Nights and in couple of square for all your weapon needs. Tell me Sheldon sent you. Marie told me everything. To think that my signature weapons can be of help to the news could be Splatoon. I'm honored. But I'm afraid I can't just let you treat my vast arsenal like an all-you-can-think buffet. I do have a business run, you know. So let's help each other out. I want you to help me test out some new weapons I'm currently developing. All you have to do is use them in real-world conditions. If you do that for me, I'll be able to gather all sorts of amazing data. Hot data will help me get the approvals I need to make retail versions of the weapons. And once the retail versions are out, you can use them in turf for battles. If It's a real win-win, you think? Okay, down boy. I think I should forget the point. Let's get back to work, Danger 4. Stay fresh. And now, this happens. Hey, so we made it. We only died once. We didn't even get a single game over yet. <laughs> Good news, you can now use my ammo. What the heck? Where'd that come from? Ammo Knight's Enhancifier next to the Cuttlefish Cabin. It's top of the line vending machine that can enhance your weapons and it bombs to your arsenal. I'm going to be taking it. It doesn't take cash, it takes power eggs and sardinium. <gasps> That's what the currency is! It's currency in this game! It's currency. Well, now I'm a squid. Oh, wait, no, I already knew that I'm a squid. Ammo Knight's Enhancificator Fire Banana thing. Open it up. Oh, wow, my god, some of those are expensive. 800 coins. 500 coins? Well, I have enough sardinium, and I'm pretty close. Hmm, I wonder. Auto bomb. Well, I guess we'll have to get those sooner. Auto bomb has, like, this weird, like, sensor thing on top of it. Well,. That's pretty neat. Oh, it's explaining it. And I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Peace.